there. Dave, what are they telling you? Well, certainly, you know, they say the same thing. It's hard to believe it's been six months since that devastating fire, but people here have really pulled together, and they say they're moving forward with that community spirit, and that as that rebuild goes on, they'll be right there supporting those owners. We're not giving up. <laughs> not at all. Downtown Holly is marching into the new year with a fighting spirit, with this close-knit community vowing for a comeback after a devastating fire caused heavy damage to the historic Holly Hotel and beyond. There is a rebuilding process, and it's probably going to take about two or three years at least for all of them to build back to what they were. Even faster if possible, it was six months ago this week when fire tore through the Holly Hotel, Andy's Place Restaurant, and created setbacks for several businesses that had damage to their electronics and more. Battle Alley Brewing Company was only open for a short time when the blaze changed everything and propelled them into action to help their fellow community members. I brought everybody together. We were only in business for a month at that stage, so it kind of hit us like, well, um, you know, and we immediately were running water and everything downtown, super hot day, and, and trying to help everybody out. We offered up our cooler space and freezers to everybody, but... You know, such a sense of community. I mean, this is truly a great small town. It's safe to say that in Holly, 2023 will be all about working together. We're really looking forward to Holly coming back to full life. I mean, been very vibrant. We just got done with the Charles Dickens Festival, which was, was wonderful downtown for three straight weekends. Brought in a ton of people. And the business owners in the area, they tell us that the city was really beneficial. The Holly government helping to raise funds and especially really when it came to the workers who were displaced from that fire. In some places, they were they were able to find other jobs temporarily or uh, acquire some of the funding from the fundraising that took place uh, because everybody's been looking out for each other ever since that fire happened. We're live tonight in Holly. Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Yeah, you mentioned looking out for each other. That's what it's going to take in the next phase of kind of moving forward together as a community. That's the kind of tight knit town where people understand how important it is to buy local and support local, right? Yeah, absolutely that. And uh, I think we, that's why we saw so many people, including uh, the gentleman, Andrew, you met at the top of the story, who was out uh, at one of the businesses that had some electronic damage uh, from that fire, wanted to support that business. And uh, the town's really grateful for all the tourism that's come through as well to a big part of it, no doubt. Well, there's bright Christmas lights behind you. Let's hope the new year lends to more bright lights ahead for businesses all through there. Dave Kinchin for us live. Thank you.